Hi friends, welcome back to another session of EC Made Easy. Now we just look how a phase shift oscillator can be made to generate a signal of a required frequency. The basic concept is if the input applied to the common emitter circuit is a sinusoidal then output of this is another sinusoidal with a phase difference of 180 degrees so there is pi radian shift here and somehow if we can make another pi radian shift then what we get is same as our input phase but only thing is it is lagging in time by one period this transistor is uh, having a property of changing the phase by 180 degree irrespective of frequency whatever be the frequency of the signal the output will be exactly 180 degree out of phase so there is a lag of 180 degrees but what we are interested in is we are interested in producing a fixed frequency signal fixed frequency oscillations are what we require so to make sure that the fixed frequency is made available at the output we must uh, make sure that this phase shift is pi for a particular frequency only in other words you uh, just uh, delay the signal by some TD some fixed value of TD and this fixed value of TD will be uh, 180 degree for a particular frequency only so if you're talking about a td uh, as a period of a sinusoidal then it is given by 1 by f so for a particular uh, td the sine wave will be 1 by f that is if you have a sine wave of td then its frequency will be 1 by f but what we are interested in is we want only half cycle therefore in the same time it should have only half cycle that means the period has to be something 2 by f so with a 2 by f what would happen is for some frequency f there will be a shift of pi radians for a delay of td so if we can delay by td then for one particular frequency this will give a pi radian of delay and another pi radian of delay was given by the transistor and this transistor gives pi radian delay irrespective of frequency and if we make this giving pi radian only to a particular frequency then overall we get a 2 pi delay and whatever signal is available here one cycle will be made available here after one period and that comes back that means by mistake one cycle is created 
so we created one cycle and the that cycle is made available here after exactly one period delay that means this comes back here and that acts as input so the input continues for one more cycle and this cycle comes out here after a delay of one period and that goes as input and that continues as the input for the third part third cycle and this way it keeps on going on and on and on only we need to make sure that whatever uh, magnitude is lost in this passive circuit has to be gained by this amplifier so there is a magnitude reduction in this passive circuit which is going to give a delay of pi radiance for a particular frequency so that much of uh, loss has to be taken care compensated by the amplifier if that is taken care then whatever goes out gets amplified and gets uh, reduced in magnitude attenuated by this network and after attenuation this value will be equal to what it was here so there was one value here gets amplified gets attenuated and amplification factor and attenuation factor if they are equal in magnitude then anything multiplied and divided by same thing will remain same so same thing comes back and this continues on and on and on so that's the logic of uh, creating uh, sustained oscillations for a particular frequency so how this can be done this can be taken up by a simple rc circuit this can be taken up by a simple rc circuit which acts as a high pass filter ideal condition under ideal condition the high pass filter should produce a delay of 90 degree or pi by 4 but practically it will be less than pi by 4 at maximum therefore we want pi then uh, pi by 4 pi by 4 was sufficient to make it uh, pi by 2 pi by 2 was sufficient to make it pi but this is little less than pi by 2 and hence adding 2 cannot make it pi therefore best thing would be take 3 and make sure that each one gets uh, the delay of 60 degree each so this gives delay of 60 this one's delay of 60 this is delay of 60 So 60 plus 60 plus 60 that makes 180, and this is already making 180, and that way we can ensure that this is going to produce uh, sustained oscillations for a fixed frequency. And uh, how does this get started when we? switch on the supply then we get a lot of noise in our system and one of the frequency component of the noise will be this frequency for which the loop phase shift is 2 pi and that gets sustained all others get decayed so one which satisfies this 2 pi condition continues to grow and the one which does not satisfy this 2 pi condition will decay and finally only one frequency will remain and all others just die out and that's the logic of uh, how uh, oscillation can be produced using this loop and rc circuit each one giving 
a delay of 60 degree so total three networks make a delay of 180 degree and this will make another delay of 180 so that makes totally 360 degree delay and that's a simple explanation we can think of how an RC phase shift oscillator works. So that's it for now. Uh, other type of oscillator will be in our next session. So till then, take care. See you. Bye.